guys, it's me Sabrina back here for another video and today we are talking about my little experiment that we're hoping will go really great, but we're not sure yet because we're just starting! Yay! <laughs> That clock doesn't move. <laughs> so it's about 10 o'clock, it's about 10.20 in the morning. And like I said in my last video, I was taking a break from keto. Not that there's anything wrong with keto, but I personally feel like I need to change things up a bit because I'm losing that kind of mental uh, fortification for doing <laughs> keto. I, so I decided after doing some research and reading up on uh, Reddit, all the Reddit subgroups, that I'm going to do PSMF. Now what is PSMF? Really basically PSMF, ah, PSMF stands for Protein Sparing Modified Fast. So basically, to make it really, really simple, I will leave a link down below if you want more information, but basically I am, you know, upping my, uh, upping my protein and dropping my carbs and fats. So if you th the way I explained it to my sister is, you know, if any of you have watched my 600 pound life and you know, the doctor puts them on a diet, this is basically that same sort of structure. We're taking down the fats and not, uh, and that way to optimize how much of our body's fat, our, our actual fat it uses for energy. So at the end of the day, I still end up, if I do it right, we'll still end up in ketosis. So I think, this could be great or it could be really, really bad. But again, PSMF is not a way of eating like keto is. It is more like a crash diet. Even in the book that you read, which is called um, <coughs> Rapid Fat Loss by Lyle McDonald. I'll leave a link down below in case you wanted to read up on it yourself. Uh, he says that this is a crash diet. It is not a full on way of eating like keto is. You can't do it forever and ever. You have to figure out the cycle on which that you can do it, and yeah. So after reading the, the well, it's not really a long book, it's probably like 80 to 90 pages max. Uh, so after reading the pamphlet about PSF, PSMF and all of the science and the reasoning behind it, I decided to do it. So I calculated my macros and my protein goal, and I will leave a link to a calculator down below in case you're interested in seeing where you would hit from your keto macros to a PSMF macros. And I went grocery shopping today. So we're gonna try it. It's gonna be an experiment. I am hoping that because I've already been eating keto that I won't suffer like the hunger that a lot of people are talking about in the beginning coming from a standard diet into PSMF. And hopefully it'll all work out. So unfortunately, because I'm away, I only have the starting weight I had before I got on the flight to come out to Portland. So I'm just going to start there and that's how I calculated my macros. So I could be off by a couple of points, but you know, really it's not that serious. Now the next question, how will I be tracking? I am using Carb Manager instead of um, my Fitness Pal, although you can use my Fitness Pal or I could have used my Fitness Pal. Uh, I just uh, read that the information already loaded into Carb Manager might be better. So I'm just trying out, seeing if I like it. And I do so far like that I can fully customize my macros and it does, it is kind of suited for keto. So if you're doing keto, you might want to check out Carb Manager for your tracking if you're not already using it because it's really good for keto so far that I can see because it like grades everything according to a keto diet. Like if you should eat a lot of this or never restrict highly, that kind of stuff. I've just been kind of plugging away and kind of just looking through it so far. Now I hope that wasn't too fast <laughs> because I did realize, I was like, hey Sabrina, you're talking really fast. Um, it's just my, my throat is, I feel like my throat's gonna go any minute so I wanna make sure I get this information out to you as soon as possible. And so now we're gonna look at the groceries that I just brought back. I still have my hat on. I don't wanna show you my hair because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> so I will show you the groceries that I just picked up and then later I have an appointment in the town, in the next town over. So we're gonna see these groceries really quickly and then I'm gonna pack up for the day and go and do my business and that's that. And tomorrow will be day one. So let's go see the groceries that I got 
Now, some of these groceries are groceries that I had before, um, before from earlier this earlier this week, and most of the things are brand spanking new for this diet. But I do have a couple things, mostly veggies, that will be carrying over from keto into PSM math. So let's go see those groceries. Hey guys, so like I said, some of the groceries will carry over from keto. It's mostly some of my green veg. Um, so I'll just show you what I've got here that is specific from PSMF. Some of the cooking util uh, cooking stuff, the food stuff, drink stuff, everything. So let's just get on with the shop. <coughs> so to start off with, I've got some romaine hearts here. Nothing wrong with salad. I have just two bags of this um, and it has three heads in the bag. So for me, I normally just cut one head per salad so I think that's gonna work for me here so that would be about two cups of romaine hearts per salad I figure salad would be easy uh, and behind that I had to buy some Pam I bought the olive oil spray they didn't have coconut oil although olive oil is probably better <laughs> um, I am doing this uh, for cooking, you know, for a cooking spray because you are reducing your fats to about 20 grams per day, so you can't really use oil. So I use a couple, I plan to use a couple puffs of this in the pan just to get things moving. This is something that is carrying over from keto, some uh, sliced mushrooms here. I'm going to use my tamari sauce still um, because, you know, it might help me make some sort of sauce or dressing without fat, so I'm going to just try that out. New to the fridge is this broccoli slaw. Um, and let's see if you see that for a cup. I'm only getting two carbs on this. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I figured I'd try that out. I saw in somebody's video that they made like a shrimp thing with the broccoli slaw. So I figured I'd try that out. Uh, I have cucumber here. An English cucumber for a salad. Um, some things that I kind of dug up in the cabinets from a previous person, oops, is some um, canned tuna. So I will take advantage of that as well. Uh, I got some lemons. I <laughs> This is also carryover. I'm not gonna bring the whole bag out, but I have some lemons because I'm not really used to the Oregon water. So I use this in my water just to make it taste not funny. I've got some zucchinis, which are still very low carb and very kind of friendly for PSMF as well as keto. I've got some Tabasco sauce just to spice things up. I've got a new box here because this one's running a little low. Uh, then we just have salt, red pepper, standard things. I also found this little packet of tuna fish which has, you see, 3.5 grams of fat and zero carbs and 18 grams of protein. I have a lot of protein to hit according to my PSMF macros. I have about 140 grams to hit every day, so I need like lots of heavy hitters as far as protein goes. Uh, just for seasonings, I have some minced garlic that I found in the fridge and it's still good, so I'll use that especially for the zucchini. Other than that, over here in the more refrigerated section stuff, I have got egg whites. Now I know I've, hold on. <laughs> Let's take a little break. I know I've said time and time again that I do not like, um, I do not like eggs. I don't like eggs, it's true. And it wasn't until I got into about college that I started experimenting with egg whites. So thus far, I am the only person who can cook egg whites that I like. <laughs> I'll do a, a co uh, what I eat in a day video so you can see how I like my egg whites, like super, like I want them tan. I want them to have like slightly almost burnt sort of look to them. They have to be dry. Anyway, back to the groceries. I got some of this uh, Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage just to try it out. I do tend to like, like in my standard diet, I do like turkey more than ham. So I figured I'd try this out. It's got per quarter cup, uh, 90 calories five grams of fat and two carbs. So it's a little carb heavy for only 10 grams of protein, but I figured I'd try it out. I might go with the eggs. Other than that, I've got three packages of this uncured Canadian bacon. Uh, and this is for four slices for 60 calories, 1.5 grams of fat. 
11 grams of protein and less than one gram of carb. So this is obviously the, um, better than the Jimmy Dean, but you know, I wanted to try that. So I've got this here ready to go. Very low in fat, 1.5 grams for four slices. So this is a good look. You're getting more quantity. And then this diet does allow me to have my soda, which is Coke Zero. It says that you can have diet sodas, but I feel like diet soda is much, like Diet Coke is much sweeter than this, and I prefer the taste of this. So hopefully that doesn't bother me. Another carryover is broccoli florets that I had earlier in this week, so I'll just continue eating this. Of course, I will have to reduce the amount that I have because this can get a little carb heavy because I normally don't measure broccoli, but now I have to measure and limit myself to about a cup, two cups per meal. <coughs> and next thing I have is Nancy's Low Fat Cottage Cheese. I was really kind of looking forward to the fact that I can incorporate um, cottage cheese and yogurt back into my diet, but it was really, really hard to find um, a cottage cheese or a yogurt that was worth the macros at the end of the day because I only have 20 grams of fat and 20 grams of net carbs. So this is the best one that I could find as far as um, macros were concerned. So for half a cup, it's 80 calories, two grams of fat. You're getting four carbs and 14 grams of protein. So this is something like that's a luxury. If I can fit it in, I will. If I can't, then I can't have it. Uh, another good look I have here is Oscar Mayer's Rotisserie Seasoned Chicken Breast. Um, this was good. I got the family size and for the macros, I am getting, for two ounces, I get 50 calories, one gram of fat, one carb, and 10 grams of protein. And this is, I feel like, would be a good snack. You know, something that's easy to top off my day. A lot of people um, in the forums are saying to get some salsa as like dressing for your salads or whatnot. Uh, so I got some here, just some paste. I'm gonna try it out. I've never had this salsa before. I figured I'd try it out. Uh, then I have some half and half for when I really feel like I need me some tea. And I feel like I'm gonna need that so I don't have any more heavy cream in the fridge. I've just got this half and half now. Uh, so this obviously, again, is another luxury because it is still fatty, not as fatty as heavy cream, of course, but still got fat in it. Um, and then we've got this kelp noodles that I tried to eat the last time in some sort of stir fry. And I have one more packet, uh, so I wanna just try to figure out if I can use that again. So I'm putting it out here to say I'm going to try the kelp noodles again. The last time didn't really work but we're gonna try it again. You know, uh, otherwise this is just my food scale under here. It's just so you know I am weighing everything and whatever. For other proteins, I've got this um, Pacific Cod. I've got two six ounce pieces in here. They're frozen and we're gonna try that out. So cod is a really great, um, white fish like this is a great source of protein. Uh, for the six ounces, is 120 calories, 26 grams of protein, and, you know, 0.5 fat. So I'm going to try out some cod. And then otherwise, I've got these natural chicken burgers. There's six in here, and I'll probably use this to go to work. So the macros are for per burger, it's 190 calories. It's got six grams of fat, which is a little high. You're getting what, one carb here and 30 grams of protein. So this is what I'm going to use. For like lunch or for my salads in the evening but we're gonna figure that out as we go hopefully they taste all right and yeah protein that is my groceries we're gonna start day one tomorrow we are going to go full force in PSF PSMF I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that PSMF starts tomorrow I've got 140 grams of protein to hit every day I have about 180 uh, sorry I have about 840 calories to eat and 20 grams of fat and protein so this is going to be difficult but again hoping that I'm coming from a keto diet will help with any sort of hunger and I will just continue to be in ketosis but we shall see what the truth of the matter is anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you are interested to see how this kind of new journey goes. I am not leaving the keto people. Uh, for those of you who came out here to see keto, you're still gonna see something like keto. And I hope you enjoy and you enjoy uh, and you in, 
and you join me for the ride for the experience and we're gonna see how this goes like I'm gonna keep you updated I will show you what I'm eating in a day and you know maybe you like to try something new yourself who knows it's gonna be great anyway guys make sure you're checking out those links down below if you want more information otherwise you know give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this click that subscribe button if you haven't already because we are so amazing here and it's gonna be fun otherwise I will see you